Hello, Nerdy Fighters. It is Saturday, June 21st. My name is Andrew, and it is random week, I guess. Put in the intro. I don't care. All oh, the Nerd Fighters! So, this week's theme is using the random topic generator to make something, make a topic, which should be pretty easy or should be pretty hard. So, uh, let's go. The first topic I got was PS3 versus Xbox 360. I, I don't care. I'm not really appropriately qualified to give you this decision because it is your own money and your own preference. Personally, I think that having a war of consoles is dumb and silly because they both have their merits and disadvantages. Personally, I like, I like Sony um, and I like a PC. So I have a PS4 and a PC, but at the same time, for years I had an Xbox 360, and I highly enjoyed it for the video games. Also, I have a PS3, so I guess there's that. So I say that you look at what you think you want in life, and then you buy that. And don't come to kid on the internet for those kind of decisions. Another topic, your favorite Christmas. I like this one better. Um, my favorite Christmas has to be not one, but just, you know, all the ones you remember as a kid. I think those are the best times you remember of Christmas. Because you aren't really aware that it's a highly saturated commercial holiday. <laughs> or you don't have to spend money. Or you don't, you don't have to realize that, you know, I think as you get older, you realize Christmas is just not as magical as it used to be. And that is something for me, which is kind of sad. I mean, me, when it comes to Christmas time, I think about gifts. I think about working more. I think about school being over. I don't really think about all the good things. But when I think back to previous Christmases, like when I was a kid and all my brothers were still at home, it was a lot more magical. Believing in Santa Claus. You know, gather around as a family, open presents together as a family. I think those are the best Christmases, the ones where my innocence was t shattered and taken from me. You know, with the, the, the truth coming out. Once again, that's also a very short topic. Um, decisions you like to put off. I love to put things off. Uh, especially deciding things. Because deciding things sucks. Um, and those decisions, anywhere from small things like wh what restaurant to eat at, uh, to what do I want to do that day, to, oh, course selection soon? I don't want to decide a classes yet. <laughs> to me, I think the reason why decisions are always hard to make is because you have to commit to that. You have to commit to that decision you make eventually, and it can either be a really good decision you made and be passed off on the back, or you could live with years of regret because you never remember the decision that you made that you liked. You always remember the decisions you made that you hated. And you always feel that regret inside of you, which is not always fun in my opinion. So, I put things off because of that. I put a lot of decisions off. I mean, I make a lot of decisions, and sometimes I have to be decisive. But I hate being decisive because when I'm decisive, or when I'm forced to be decisive, I feel like it's almost my responsibility if what I decide isn't that great, and a group of people feel disappointed. And it sucks to be that kind of person, or to have that feeling. Big purchases, to me, are scary because... Spending $100 on something is 10 hours of work. And if I want to spend $400 on something, that's 40 hours of my work at a horrible grocery store. And it's a lot of money for me because I'm a college student, so I don't actually have a lot of savings. Um, and so those are decisions I always don't like to make. I think that's it for me today, so I will see you guys maybe next week. I don't know if I have a video tweaked for now. Maybe. I'm not too sure. Um, I have to double check. But I'll see you guys soon. I hope you all have an awesome week. And Josh, I can't wait to see you tomorrow. You are exciting. You excite me. That sounds weird. Now you're probably creeped out. Uh, see you, Josh. Bye.